So now what I want to do is I want to break down this schedule and show you guys how to do it. All right, so let's, let's put in our big rocks first. Have you guys seen that YouTube video or heard about the, the teacher or the professor or the sensei who comes in and says, here's a big jar, fills it up with all the big rocks and goes, is it full? And the whole class says, yeah, it's full, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then the sensei or the professor goes, really? No, and then he gets no. out some smaller pebbles and dumps it in and it all fills in. And he goes, okay, so now is it full? Some kids start catching on. They're like, I see what you're doing. I, it looks full, but what else you got? He's like, okay. Brings out all the sand. Dumps it in there. Overflows with sand. He goes, is this full? Some of the class is like, yeah, totally. No. Some are like, wait, no, there's water. Yeah. So then he takes water and dumps it in. So what you want to do is put your big rocks in first. Okay. So especially if you're a newer rep, it's very easy to get... Um, behind and feel guilty because you're not good with your time, you're not putting in the, in the important things like working out, like family, like church, like school and your other jobs. So then you're always playing catch up because you say you want to do one thing, you think you want to do one thing, and then you're worried because you're not doing it and then you feel guilty and your manager's like, hey, why aren't you doing this? You're like, crap, I suck with my time and uh, it's this big cycle. So you want to make sure that you feel good and you're in the place where you're at. If you're at work, you're there. If you're at school, you're there. If you're at church, you're there. If you're with your significant other, you're there. Because when I was a new rep, I felt guilty because I thought I could always work. And I could, but that's not healthy, right? You want to check in and check out when you want to work. And that's why a schedule matters. Otherwise, it's always on your mind. This whole thing is open. You're like, all right, I could be calling. I could be doing demos. Well, yeah, but that's not realistic. So we don't want people feeling guilty. We don't want people feeling bad. So a successful rep, what time do you think they're waking up in the summer when they're not, okay, not when they're at college, hanging out, partying with friends and tempted to be up till 2 or 3 a.m. all the time. What about during the summer? Um, what time are most, uh, should most reps be waking up? Do you think? Six. I was up every day at five. Every day at five. Okay. Four. Or six. Well, let's, let, let's, let's, let's work it backwards. It'd be great to be a champions club right? So 8 a.m. Champs Club. That's not required, but it's great to get everyone here in the summer to phone, learn a little bit, be here for an hour, and get their couple demos scheduled. So that would be like 8 till 9 a.m., which would be Monday through Friday. So that would be Champions Club. Champs Club. So before that, Ethan, why, why did you say 6 to wake up? Um, gives you time to like a half hour-ish to get kind of your stuff together and then go work out. Yep. So basically doing the Miracle Morning and exercise. Oh, By the way, so let's say 6 a.m. until 8. So that's getting ready, exercising, doing your stuff. And that could be Monday through Friday. That could be Saturday, Sunday. It's up to you. Now... <laughs> Could someone sleep in till 10 and still be successful selling cut mm, Not as successful. Well. You, you could pull off, you know, get a little lucky, but like. You could. They could be. Or catch up with could them. they roll out of bed, get here at 8 to make some phone calls, and then do their Miracle Morning exercise afterwards? Pretty better. Totally. Yeah. So there's all ways to do it. The Miracle Morning doesn't have to be at 5 or 6 a.m. It could be any time. Your Miracle Morning could be at 10 a.m. And that's fine. Um, so what I do now is I look at, okay, when can you actually do appointments, right? Um, and it's important to put in the big rocks first when you're hanging out with friends and family, religious stuff, your other jobs, um, office events. All right, so that's all in here. So let's break this down here and see when you could do appointments. Now, Monday, do, you, Tuesday. do you have to do um, demos on, the, on those days? Or uh, not demos, but exercise in the morning there? No, you could exercise afterwards. Mm -hmm. But in this example, we're putting together for a successful rep in the summer who's looking to be the most efficient and effective. Um, what I would say is if you were a rep in the summer, Wiley, I would say you could do like a 9, 9, 15 appointment before you go into work. So you could do a 9, 15, and then I circle it. A 9, 15, circle it. 9, 15, circle it. And the reason why I'm doing this is because you know what time's off then on the phone. Otherwise, you're like, uh, Miss Jones, does uh, 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 Tuesday work? 
that you sound very incompetent because you're not actually giving them a structured, competent time. So what you do is you look at this, you know, Wiley is kind of the example here of your new rep, and you have all this stuff going on. You still have times to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We established before that if you used to 12 demos a week, once you're at the dirty 30, making 30%, you'd be earning $800 a week, right? So, um, then what you want to do is you're going to break down, okay, what do I actually want to do? You know what, actually, I have lunch uh, with the family here. So then you put in family, right? And then you're like, you know what, I actually have um, uh, an event, uh, a social event or social club event here uh, with, with friends. So you just fill in. The, like the sand, I'd say is cutco, and then the water is all the fun stuff. And at night, whenever you can't schedule a demo, or if you like, even just at night, like the 9 p.m. till midnight when you're actually going to bed, you chill, you, you can watch all the Game of Thrones, all the Netflix, do all the social media you want for three hours from 9 till midnight, okay? <laughs> because you're up then in your bed anyway on your phone. All right, and then you have like, I don't know, 20 hours a week of screen time as zombies as we're all turning into. So um, that's how I'd break it down. That's what I'd recommend uh, you come into the week with and fill these out every single time because this will help your manager work through your schedule. This will also help us know how to help you hit your goals. You're not guilty. You're maximizing your schedule. So that's my lesson on time management. <laughs>